What's up you guys, Slimax Team Symmetry here at YCS Awesome with my boy John Hubbard, Top 16 YCS. What's going on, man? I'm doing pretty you okay. Good, you I good? Guess after I lost. Yeah. It's whatever. all good, all happens. Yeah. Uh, from the locals, BAMS Collectibles. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, what deck were you running? Uh, Mermails. Mono Mermails. Mono Mermail. Best deck, pretty yeah, much? Yeah, pretty much. Dominated top 32. Right, Hit like 50% right. of the field. Crazy. All right, well, let's get into this list. Yeah, uh, it's pretty standard. You got three lens. Uh, so yeah, you pretty much need all all these Marmel cards. You're gonna need like in threes, pretty much three Pikes, three Megalos, three Tays, one Lead. Yeah, there's pretty much these like with these cards, you can really OTK through pretty much anything. Like it's it's kind of ridiculous. This deck is not fair. Uh, three Dragoons, <laughs> three Divas, three Marksmen. I use two infantry because. I think I wanted to use more monsters in the deck, so because I feel like the best hands you draw are the ones with the most monsters. So and I didn't really want to use any other monsters, but I mean I figured if I made like multiples of, of uh, infantry, it would work out. And I used two Gundies as well, because Gund is, it was really good. I mean when you're playing a lot of water mirrors and stuff, you kind of need it because the rank sevens are really important in the water mirror matches, and I expected to play a lot of them. And I only ended up playing like three of them, but every time I, I beat all three of them though. So nope. good there shit. you go. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they worked out yeah, plan. Uh, so that's it for the monsters. Yeah, it's monsters. Right. Spells. Uh, the spells. I would use seven Standard. spells. You, know, yeah. you need these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These you're gonna need to use these. Uh, three MSTs, obviously. I mean, yeah. It's Clear really the back row. Go for really game. Really standard. And uh, yeah, it's not even back It's just mirror matches, spheres, and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, this sphere, really good. Cards obviously. Uh, squall. One squall. Decided to use squall. Uh, Solemn judgment. I feel the same exact way as Billy is that you you kind of always want to like establish like a massive field and solemn judgment just wrecks shit. And then uh, Phoenix Chain. Phoenix Chain's good because uh, you can you can bounce it to Lord Plays, but it's probably the it's probably the best trap to use in this deck because I don't I don't like torrential because you're kind of your goal is really to like summon Gaios and stuff like that and just and make big big boards. And I don't like Mirror Force because wind ups became really popular and wind ups are not and wind up, Mirror Force is terrible against windups, and I figured this would be the best one against across all matchups, pretty much. And I guess you can do some Delorean stuff with it, but yeah. that only came up once for me. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the main deck, side deck. Yeah, my side was. I guess it's kind of. I didn't really do anything fancy or anything like that. I kind of just made it like a straight side deck that I make with like all my decks is, you know, two Mirror Force. Uh, I figured if I wasn't gonna play windups, I'd pretty much sided in pretty much against everything except for the mirror match because of marksman and stuff. But. Uh, Dust Tornado is really, it's really for, I cited in pretty much almost every matchup besides the mirror match. Every deck uses some sort of continuous spells now, so you kind of need it. Especially when post siding it gets to like deep fissures and stuff like that. Uh, Messenger of Peace. Messenger of Peace, too good. Yeah, it's really good. I, like I said, I cited in pretty much everything except for the mirror match. It's, uh, it stops everything, really. I mean, it's a really good card. And uh, it, sometimes when it gets to games two and three, you kind of, it's not really about, you know, if you get defissured or banisher. It's about how long you can wait till you draw your outs to those cards. And if you can stall out long enough, then you'll, you'll eventually draw the cards that you need. And then when you're stockpiling everything and then it works out, and you can start killing, you're going to kill them probably the turn you deal with the cards. Right, right. All these cards, obviously I'm not signing these for the mirror match, so I needed some cards for the mirror match. Yeah. So I cited uh, two maxis, uh, really these cards, you need these in the mirror match. They, they're they dominant in the mirror match, but that's probably the only deck I really liked it against. I used it against windups, but I didn't really draw it against windups. And one time I did, I still lost. Uh, also, three Mind Crush. Mind Crush is really good against uh, windups. It's really good against the mirror match. Uh, those are probably the only two matchups I sided in against. I, I, I played against Herald of Perfection round 10, and this card actually like just it won me the game outright because it stops that venture alert. And, uh, I have three snowman eaters. I, I like these over Soul Taker because they're bodies, they're walls, they're water. Uh, you can side them in pretty much against anything. Uh, I even sided them in against water a couple times oh, when really? I was going second because you could just search for them with Pike and stuff, and it's it's an out to Gaios and all that stuff. And uh, it's yeah, it's just really. I didn't side it in against Fire Fist because people could just pop it with Bear. Right. But I pretty much sided it in against everything else. And then Solemn Warning. I sided on Solemn Warning because I needed more cards for the mirror match. This is. Really, this won me like a ton of games against the mirror match because people were just dumb megalo, and then you just if, if they don't if they don't dump anything like we had, like even if they dump marksman or something like that, and they only want to target your warning, then you really just plus like a ton because they don't search for sphere. They lost three cards, 
and yeah, they just get blown out pretty much almost every time. Unless they dump like double dragoons or something like that, in which case you might not have won anyways. But at least you dealt with the megalo, right? Right, right. Yeah. All right, and just extra deck real quick. Um, it's uh, armory arm. Yeah, for the furry arm, librarian, catastrophe, uh, Duloran, black rose. I thought I'd make this card a lot, but I actually didn't make it a single time this whole tournament. Uh, going near. Kind of, I made this card a couple of times. Uh, Gachi Gachi against Hetsu. Leviathan won me a ton of games. I used Bahamut Shark and Abyss Trite because this this actually like it, it either saved me or won me. But every game I, I dropped this card, I pretty much won the game. Like it was ridiculous how good it could be. And even my Water Mirror sometimes if I drop this card, it's really hard to deal with a 28. Even even past Gaios and stuff like that, they can't really handle it. Uh, Abyss Dweller obviously really good. Zen Mains. Stable, big eye. Uh, Ridiculous. <laughs> two, two, uh, this two guy. Guys, you, need guy yeah. you need two guy if you're using Squall, so you can yeah. make multiples. Awesome. And yeah. That's oh, over! Hey! Hey! Yeah. 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 yeah, we worked yeah. on the deck all together. Yeah. yeah. Good my boy. Great, great good for my, job. He's good my job. boys. For my good good boys in Norcat. You. you already know. All right. Uh, anything you change about the deck? The deck's solid. Still like, uh, the best deck in the format. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, there's nothing really you could really change about the yeah. deck. I mean, the deck kind of builds itself at yeah. some point. I mean, there's only room for like maybe one or two cards you could really change. Yeah. Uh, my, I, I like my side a lot. That's probably the only reason I really use this deck. I mean, I thought I, I was going to use windups probably about until 11 o'clock on Friday night, and but I decided I built this side and I really liked it, so I decided to use this instead. And the side it was really good. And I didn't, I don't really like you know doing stuff like siding Trigodia and stuff like that. I, I always think those are get, kind of gimmicky. And you really, I don't think you should side in the gimmicky cards. You should just side, you know, for your matchups. And don't really, I think one thing I liked about it the most is that you don't take away too much from your deck because that's what makes the deck so good, you know, is being able to, you know, keep Megalo, the, Megalo, the Tays, everybody, deck, yeah. everybody, you know, yeah, OT King, generally. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, I probably wouldn't change a single thing, honestly. I mean, I'd probably still be playing if I didn't get a game loss in top yeah. 16. But, you know, yeah. what can you do? Yeah. Well, awesome. Congrats. Yeah, congrats on top 16. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed the profile. Thank you for watching.